What's up everybody, Kevin right here from Bitcoin for Beginners and today I have a really special video for you, one that combines two of the most common questions that pops up in our community. So one of my most popular videos is how to use Bitrix to buy altcoins, but in the comments I often get people who want even more clarity on the video. They want me to show them click by click what to do. Secondly, we often get people asking in our beginner Facebook group, how can they get their hands on some Ripple? So today, I'm going to show you how to do both all in this video. I'm going to show you a live trade on Bittrex of how to get your hands on some Ripple. So before I go any further, please give me a like if you find this helpful. Subscribe below, press the notification bell so you see future videos, and let's get started. So this is the Bittrex main page. As you see, you have Bitcoin markets here. And you have Ethereum markets. So actually, I'm going to be trading with Ethereum today because I like its faster transaction times and also cheaper fees. And right here is our trading pair, ETH-XRP. If you want to find another one, you can just type in the symbol right here, like uh, NEO, for example. See right there, ETH-NEO. But first, you need to deposit some ETH before you can trade it for Ripple. So you go to this wallets button right here up top. And you can hide zero balances, but you need to search for Ethereum, and here it shows up. Be sure to choose ETH, not Ethereum Classic. So I did this already yesterday, um, just because it takes quite some time for it to actually pop up. So that would be like an hour long or more video if we waited the whole time. So you press this plus sign right here to deposit Ethereum in your wallet balance. Here's your address where you need to send your Ethereum to. So I also want you to note this really important disclaimer down here on how you need 0.1 ETH before they will credit your account. This actually affected me before because I sent less than 0.1 ETH and I was like, hmm, it's been forever. Why did it not show up yet? Then I remembered, oh yeah, they have minimum of balances that you need before you're credited. So if you send less than 0.1, have no fear, just send more. And once it reaches that amount, it will show up. Also, they have this pending deposit stuff, but... Oftentimes it's really laggy and doesn't even work correctly, so I wouldn't really worry about this. Um, as long as you can see in a block explorer, for example, that it went through and the transaction has gone through many block confirmations. I forget how many exactly Bitrix requires before it shows up, but it's a lot. So just be patient is the point. As long as your address is right, right here, and you have more than 0.1, it should be good. So after a while, it will move from this pending deposit column to available balance and you might have to refresh the screen. Now you're ready to trade. Once again, go back to this home page by clicking Bitrix, XRP. And you have a lot of stuff show up right here like a charts, different data, but the real interesting part is gonna be this area, the trading interface. And as you can see, you can buy Ripple here or sell Ripple here. I already traded some of my ETH for Ripple so I have 0 0.06, a little bit more left, and I have 54 ripples. Well, let's say you want to buy some more ripple. So there's many ways to place orders on Bitrix, but this is what I would do because this is the simplest way in my opinion. So you put in how much ETH you want to spend. So let's say you want to spend a little bit under half of that. And then the price, you have last bid and ask. I would select the ask price, which is what people are selling it for. And then it auto fills this for you. And so... I would be buying 32 ripples. Good till cancel. This is a limit order. They don't have market orders as far as I know. That would make things easier. But limit orders, let's buy ripple and press confirm. And see this little pop-up saying your buy order has been placed. And no open orders right now. Let me refresh the screen. So that worked out pretty easily. You see my second order pop up of 32. Remember, I bought 54 already. This is earlier. I have 32 more now. And nothing showed up in open orders because it happened immediately. If the price fluctuates away from the limit order you put, then it's going to just sit here and show up in the order books with a little star on the side. If you don't want to wait too long, you can always exit. And you will see your full balance pop up again. And then you can do that order, same order again. And remember to press ask and press buy and then wait again. After doing that a few times, you should be able to fill your entire order pretty quickly. 
And similarly for cell ripple, instead of ask, you put bid and you put the number of units you want to sell. Let's say I want to sell 50 at the price, bid price, it auto fills this for you and you put sell. So that's pretty much it. Once again, if it doesn't fill immediately, you can pretty easily tell by looking at your order history or your open orders and you can X out of it and then put in your order again. After doing that a couple times, it should be good. So now I have my ripples. What am I going to do? I'm going to press on wallets again. See, I have my ripple. And if you press the minus sign, it's going to bring you to the withdrawal. So now you can send it to your ripple wallet. You go to your ripple wallet, get a receiving address, your ripple address from there, place it right here, type in the number of ripples you want to withdraw, and then press withdraw, and then just wait. And it may take a while, but eventually it'll get there. I'm also going to make another video on how to use the Ripple Wallet. So definitely give me a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one. See y'all later.